Hey, this is Allison from Mahalo Math. Welcome to our SAT prep series. We're going to be working some problems, and working with me today is Chrissy and Trevor. So let's get started. OK, so let's look at question number four. It's that one with the right triangle. And they want to know, what is the area of the triangle in the figure above? So we have this right triangle. And we know that this point is the point 5, 0. And we know that this point is the point 0, 3. So Christy, what do you think? How do you find the area of this triangle? I honestly cannot remember. Well, you know, they give you some formulas. Yes. So some of the formulas that they give you are area formulas and so forth. So they actually give you the formula for the area of a triangle. So what is that off the sheet that you're given? I don't even know which one it is. Just look for the triangle. That one? The, other one. the same one? The one right over there. So the area of a triangle, right, it's 1 half base times height, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so on this triangle, what do you think the base might be? Hmm. I don't know. How long is the bottom part? How long is this line right here that goes to the point five zero? How how long do you think that is? As opposed to the zero point three. Yeah. It starts at 0, 0, mm -hmm. and it goes to 5, 0. So how long do you think that line is? Do you know, Trevor? 5. It's 5, right. It's just 5 units. OK. All right, so what about the height of it then? The height, the one that starts at 0, 0, and it goes up to 0, 3. So how many units is that? 3. Right. So what we have is we have a triangle that has a base of 5 oh. and a height of 3. The height on a triangle when you're finding area is always vertical height. So now we all, all we have to do is do the arithmetic. So what's 5 times 3? 15. 15. And what's 1 half of 15? 7.5. Uh, 7.5. Is that one of our answers? Yes, it is. Awesome. That's how you do it? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how to determine distances on a coordinate axis. So if we have a coordinate axis, and let's say we have this is 1, 2, 3, and let's say this is 1 and 2, then if we have a point here, the distance of that point from the origin is how many units you travel to get there. So we would have to travel 1, 2, 3 units. So that means along that line, we would have gone 3 units. If we had a point here, then the distance along that line would be how far we traveled from the origin to get there, which would be one, two units. So that would be two units. And wherever your point is on the axis, that's all you have to do. You just have to count how far you went away from the origin, which is the point right in the center, and that tells you how long that distance is. Thanks for learning with us today. If you'd like any more information on these topics, click on the links below. And if you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.